Hi everybody, Mr. Hines here. I'm going to play through the Super 8 songs. So if you don't know what those are, they're 108, 110, 131, 132, and then we go 139, 148, B68, which is Blue Book number 68, as well as Blue Book number 13. So I'm just going to play pretty much straight through them for practice. Uh, this would be a great thing for you to play every day. Plus you can play all the other songs that you like to play as well, but this is the ones that you want to play to make sure that you become a really solid, strong player. 108, I'm going to take the second ending. I'm not going to take the first ending. Second ending only. One, two, go. is usually something called hand clappers, but we're actually going to be playing uh, kookaburra. So if you don't have that, ask your, t uh, your director, your teacher to staple that in your book. This is 110 kookaburra. One and two and ready. Turning over to 131, 131, here we go, 131, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, ready, go. One, two, ready. Turning the page, two pages, 139, 139, and let's go ahead and do it both times. Take the, the repeat back to the theme in measure five. One, two, and one, and two, and nice medium tempo. One, two, ready, go. Turn the page, 148, 148. Okay, ignore the fermatas, we're just gonna play straight through. Four and one, two, go. <laughs> Switching books, and this time we're going to go ahead and jump over to blue book number 68, 
Blue Book number 68, which is a chromatic scale, and of course you could play the 13 boxes in the back if you ask your teacher if they, you don't know about what that is. We're looking at uh, B, B68 chromatic scale. One, two, ready. <laughs> back to the front of the blue book to number 13 and on this one we're just going to take the first ending and stop there for many of us we use this as the December test and we're just going to go first beginning up through the first ending and stop there okay one and two and ready go Good. So as you're practicing these, these will get better and easier and they're going to make you a stronger player. Now if you have trouble with something, remember the two things when you're practicing. Number one, if you have trouble with some, something and you can't play it as well as I'm playing it or as smoothly as I'm playing it, first thing you do, slow it down. Turn this off, go slow it down, and then if that works, great, then you go get, uh, keep playing it, you'll get your speed up. If that doesn't work, then you want to break it up into pieces. Break it up into pieces. And pieces could mean a measure at a time. Pieces could be separating it. Like instead of trying to play it and figure out the notes and rhythms, maybe do counting the rhythms only. Or maybe do the fingerings and saying the names of the notes uh, when you're practicing. Then put it all back together and then try to then get your speed up. All right. Um, same thing with like on the chromatic scale. Uh, you're taking a look at the chromatic scale and you're going, oh, there's two or three notes I don't know. Good. Put a little dot by those notes and go learn those notes. Go focus on those notes. Say those notes over and over and over and over. Then go back and try to do that part again. Okay? All right. Play the Super 8 every day and you will be a very solid, super strong player. All right. Have a good day. Bye.